You surely notice it's getting slightly hilly already and there are, there's, there are cows on the left hand side. Soon we'll get into Bohemia, the area that is known as Bohemia. a certain fish in those ponds, the carp, C as in Charlie, A-R-P. The carp is the traditional Christmas Eve meal on the 24th, which is the day when we're on the European continent, not in England, but on the continent. The presents are being given on the 24th in the evening. So before the presents are given, a meal takes place and at that meal, so tradition has it, has carp fried, carp, carp fried in a pan, pan, <laughs> and with carp is served a certain type of potato salad. Czech Republic and only in the Czech Republic, this is the tradition. On the 25th lunchtime, the Christmas meal is on most of the continental countries, European continental countries. Goose is served. Goose with uh, dumpling and lukewarm shredded blue cabbage. Cabbage has to be lukewarm. It shouldn't be cold. It shouldn't be hot, but lukewarm. So tradition has it most of the countries like Austria, Switzerland, Germany, Czech Republic, on the 25th at lunchtime, goose is being served. over those hills in order to get into Germany, into Bavaria. Passa is in Bavaria, one of Germany's 16 states, <laughs> the most southern state, the largest in size of all the 16 states. Capital is the beer town Munich with a population of 1,000,000.5. And economically speaking, the state of Bavaria has an unemployment rate right now of 3%, whereas for the whole of Germany, they quote right now 5.3%, 5.3% for the whole of Germany at the moment.
as we pass through the villages and there's only one town to speak of, Strakonice, I mentioned it already, that we will pass through, but the rest is all villages and you will see right, like right here, stacks and stacks of wood stored outside of the one family houses or little apartment houses tells us of course that the heating is done with individual stoves in the rooms and wood being used plus lignite, lignite the brown coal. countries. If you go further east after the Czech Republic comes Poland, then Belarus and then Russia. In all those countries, poppy seed or maybe, you know, in another name, manna, very very popular. For cakes, for pretzels, in pastries, on bread, on rolls, very very popular. Poppy seeds. Thank you. 
seats is where we have business here in America because the demand is there, the price goes up. We have to leave this present road right away again in the direction of Strakonice. And in front of us, the Bohemian Hills. Yes. On the other side, of those hills, Germany, Bavaria, to the left of us, then there is Austria on the other side of the hills, straight ahead, Germany, Bavaria, one of Germany's 16 states.
the main plant, there is a second one within the Czech Republic, and they do a tremendous export business naturally all over Europe, but then also to South America and to the US, to the US in particular several different models of cowboy hats. The name is Tonak, T as in town, O-N-A-K, and the company was founded in the year 1799. In those years, they were famous for the fez, like the Arab men used to wear, in particular the Turkish men. And in those days, the company was known under the name Fezco. Nowadays, Tanak is coming up after we cross over this little river here, after we leave the bridge behind on the left-hand side, on top is the big billboard stating Tannak, T-O-N-A-K. Coming up on the left-hand side here. is known in the world is every two years takes place a music festival in this town to which people from truly around the globe come to participate. Next year, 2018, will be the 23rd International Bagpipe Festival. Uh, we usually know the bagpipe being played by the Scotsmen, in, like pa Sir Patrick Day parades and so on, but there are several differently sized bagpipes. In this area, who used to, which used to have a lot of uh, shepherds, also had lots of bagpipe players. It has developed into the center of bagpipe, bagpipe playing in the world. So they congregate in this town every two years to make music in the streets, in the concert hall, in the little castle in this town. And of course, people from abroad come dressed in their local costumes. They bring along other musical instruments like the fiddle, for instance. They bring choirs along. Anybody who is interested, you can go to YouTube. YouTube shows several videos of the events that took place during the year 2016. The third reason why this town is known in the world, until the year 1977-0, they used to make a famous motorcycle in this town. One particular model was used worldwide in so-called motocross competitions. By the year 1970, they went out of business because in the beginning of the 1960s, that was one of the reasons only, of course, uh, 1960s, the Japanese motorcycles came onto the European market, and this company here in Strakonice could not compete price-wise any longer. So anybody interested, go to any of the search machines like Google or so on. Uh, put in either Strakonice motorcycle or Czech motorcycle, and you will get all the information. Wikipedia will tell you all about those famous motorcycles they used to make in this town here. Ja, ich habe schon zu tun. 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 Ich habe schon zu tun.
Ja, aber ich glaube, da ist, da ist noch ein halbes Jahr. Ja, ich schaue nachher noch mal.